Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Latila Tarot. First of all, I would like to thank for all of you who have seen my previous videos that you watched and liked them, especially if you subscribed. I'm truly grateful for all of that and what makes me even happier that you are back again. And if you're new to my channel, I'd like to give you a big welcome. I am very glad that you found me. Today we're going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of November in the areas of love and relationship. As usual, this is a general reading, so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. Let's start with an angel guide oracle. So you have here the earth and ground. This is the card that comes uh, up that uh, when you might be feeling a little bit discombobulated and all over the place and maybe because you've been spreading yourself too thin and maybe you're taking on too many projects and at once and the angels are really encouraging you to ground yourself and when you come back to earth you will have a clearer insight into what you are and what you need to feel that's what you need to do to feel safer and more ease in your life so you've been guided to take some time breathe connect uh, with fresh air and even go somewhere where you can relax and release and let go and that's going to help you to deal with any kind of uncertain times that you are dealing with and uh, provide you with a better energy so let's see what's going on in your love life and uh, the page of wands is in the center of your reading so the page of wands can indicate a younger person in your life some of you might be dealing with a younger person but it can be also a sign of children pages generally deliver messages and the message this page is delivering you is something very passionate very fiery Maybe you've been kind of uh, very adventurous, so maybe you've been having some adventures going on in your life, especially if you're single. Now, if you are in a relationship, generally when this card comes up, it is kind of a sign that you need to uh, kind of rethink what you want to do with this relationship. You need to kind of make a call whether you want to make it or break it. So let's see what are the surrounding energies. Your reading actually starts uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, which is the card of a golden opportunity. So this is a lovely energy to have because this is a card of a new chapter in our life. If you're single, it can be that somebody came into your life recently uh, and, uh, and that seems to have some good potential of, for a long-term relationship. If you are in an existing relationship, this is a card that's showcasing that the relationship is full of potential and it might be getting into the ne next chapter of uh, of it maybe getting married getting engaged moving in with, e with each other etc whatever is the next phase is the next we have here is the temperance which is the card of patience and uh, making sure that don't rush yourself into anything because this angel is working on creating gold out of water and fire which requires time so and it's kind of funny that you have with a gold opportunity at the beginning so creating gold uh, creating a great relationship needs time so don't rush into anything just take one step at a time and you're going to be able to achieve whatever you're trying to to do this golden opportunity so just be patient and don't rush into anything the next we have here is the Knight of Pentacles, some, somebody who delivers a golden opportunity and he's not fast either. So this Knight can be a person, can be yourself or just the energy of the card. So this Knight, as I said, and usually the Knights are delivering some kind of an action, but this Knight is very slow because he's very meticulous. He takes everything by the book, crosses every T's and uh, dots every I's and... Uh, and, and again, he's very slow, but he always delivers. Generally, success is guaranteed when this night comes up. He's very loyal, he's very faithful, and he is bringing long-term stability in our life. So again, another card that's telling you, do not rush into anything. Just take one step at a time and you're going to have a golden opportunity. The next card we have here is another pentacle the nine of pentacles so this is kind of like a very independent energy 
because you know she worked very hard for something and she achieved that uh, definitely a card of financial independence uh, now uh, this card is also the card where uh, like you know if you're single you're definitely enjoying being single and you're not rushing into anything you're taking your time you are very picky uh, and uh, if you are in an existing relationship this card is telling us that the relationship kind of passed the initial stages of the relationship you are getting more comfortable with each other and things are uh, you're kind of uh, enjoying the relationship it is also the card that's telling us that uh, uh, you know you are supported by your partner to pursue your dreams and hobbies and uh, passions now one thing that's kind of interesting also this is not uh, a monetary or finance reading but you have quite a few pentacles energy so far the nine of pentacles can mean property and the Knight of Pentacles can be can indicate an offer, uh, an offer that is solid. So maybe some of you are thinking about buying a property with your partner, um, or you are in the middle of uh, making an offer this month. Uh, it might be that you know the offer might be ex accepted uh, if that's the case. And then you have another Pentacle. The page of pentacles so uh, again this is kind of like a can be indicate another young young person or another or uh, another message uh, generally like you know uh, pages bring messages and this uh, this is usually uh, delivering you a golden opportunity that you need to grab with both hands now this can be a new relationship uh, a new chapter in the existing relationship or it can just also mean that the financials are actually impacting the relationship uh, right now pretty significantly because uh, for for now like the first half of this reading uh, you kind of have surrounded with these cards that have something to do with gold or a golden opportunity now let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading but before that please don't forget to like share and subscribe because that's an indication that the reading has worked, has helped you, and you can also help me uh, to grow the channel to make sure more people get the message that they need. And for you, it is only a push of a button, so I hope that you already push those like and subscribe buttons. And I'm always very happy to read what's going on in your life. The other thing before we kind of jump into the next card, the Page of Pentacles, if you are in an existing relationship, might indicate some uh, some things that you know you need to kind of pay attention to recreate this initial spark that you had now next we have here another pentacle the five of pentacles so the five of pentacles is the energy of lack when you are focusing on whatever you don't have and and probably you should switch to the round by focusing on what you have and be grateful uh, this card can indicate that some of you have been alone have you have some of you have been single for a while or feeling alone even in an existing relationship it can be that you're kind of feeling not enough you're feeling uh, alone in the relationship uh, it can be a, an indication that some of you being a single parent and that's kind of influencing your chances of meeting uh, somebody and again like with the five of pentacles uh, it can be that you know uh, that your partner has financial troubles and that's impacting the relationship maybe you're kind of trying to get get some kind of a, a, a property and maybe you don't have a, enough uh, money for it uh, but there's there's it's always important that you 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 kind of focus on whatever you have and be grateful uh, because this can also mean that you're kind of focusing like self-sabotaging the five of pentacles when you're just focusing on uh, all of the negativities the next we have here is the devil so the devil is a card of obsession materialism it is also the card of dependency uh, so generally it is indicating a situation where you don't see a way out of it uh, but it's whenever this card comes up it is telling you that there's actually a way out of it you just need to maybe ask for help uh, if you need because one very interesting thing going back to the five of pentacles that you know these people 
are right in front of a church. They're beggars and they're not even realizing that they could just go into the church and ask for help. And that's kind of connected to the devil that some of you might be in a situation where you just need to ask for help and, and maybe that help will uh, get you out of uh, that devil situation, which is a dependency, right? So if you are single, you might be going through uh, one night stands that are that have no emotional connection. If you are in an existing relationship, it might be a toxic person, a toxic relationship uh, that uh, definitely keeps drawing you back. It can be also a relationship where you are too dependent of each other or uh, just uh, you know, can be dependency of any kind of uh, substance abuse like uh, drugs, alcohol, food even, like some kind of a dependency. So try to think about what is that, that kind of uh, make you feel trapped uh, and, and, and who can help you to get out of this situation. Now the next we have here is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups can be a person, can be yourself, or it can be just the energy of the card. The Knight of Cups is somebody who's very romantic, somebody who's very dreamy, and um, that can be one of his downfalls, that he likes to dream, 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 and not necessarily do. But on a love and relationship uh, uh, angle, um, as, as the Knights are kind of uh, bringing some kind of an action, it might be uh, some kind of a romantic action that's coming in, a romantic offer, so-called, um, which can be invite invitation for a date, uh, invitation to move in with, with each other, invitation to get engaged, get married, uh, right? It's, it's uh, very connected to this page of uh, uh, pentacles and knight of pentacles energy. Some of you might be actually have two kinds of knights, two people in your life, uh, or even four, uh, if we kind of consider all of these pages uh, uh, people. So maybe some of you, you have a lot of kind of um, options to choose from. Uh, and, and, and somebody will kind of want to take it to the next level. And at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Six of Wands, which is the card of victory and the card of celebration and being in the center of attention so some of you might be in the center of attention but i think whatever you might be going through you're going to be able to push through and you're going to be able to win over it and just make sure that you know you kind of grind yourself you come down to the earth right especially if you dream a lot this earth and ground uh, energy might be very important for you so that's all I have for you. I hope that this reading helped you and I'll be able to welcome you again.